So how do you create an org chart in Microsoft PowerPoint? Turns out it's pretty simple. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So if that's what you're here to see, let's just get into it. So I'm doing this online. Uh, this should be the same no matter what uh, version or what you're using, so long as you have access to uh, PowerPoint, you should be able to do this. So what we're gonna do, of course, we have a blank slide. You could do this on any other slide, um, but come over to insert and then come over to smart art. Um, and depending, this may or may not load correctly. I know for myself, it actually didn't load, but you could still hover over everything and see um, the tooltip. And you're gonna wanna come down here to hierarchy. And of course, if you can see it, it's right there, organization chart. So we just click on that. It inputs a simple um, two level org chart, and then we can start entering our text here. So for example, at the top, we're gonna put CEO, and then let's say we got a CTO, CFO, and uh, we'll call it security. And then we can start going from there. This is just a indented bullet list. Uh, and you can certainly add another one to it. We'll call this, um, oh, I don't know, um, special ops. This is a very weird organization. All right, and then uh, CTO, let's say CFO has got um, some analyst. Uh, we'll give it analyst one and then copy that. And we'll do analyst two. And we can see it building out here. Um, and then same thing here, guard one, guard two, uh, just to show a little bit of what we can do there. So we can close that and then we can come over and for example, we can drag, make this a little bigger, um, do whatever we need to do. Um, and then that's it, right? You can of course arrange um, things as you need to. You might have to stretch things out, give things different, um, a little bit different um, uh, sizing to make things fit. Uh, but that's really it. It's very easy to hop in and out of this. So if you click on this again, you bring it up and you can, you know, delete things. Um, let's see if we take away the analyst. There we go. goes away. Um, so pretty simple to use overall. And this is nice that you can build this directly in PowerPoint. Um, so with different tools, some other tools, you may have to, to import it or do a little bit more of the manual connecting. Um, an example being Google Word, if you are Google Word, Google uh, Docs, if you wanted to uh, put an org chart into that, you can do it using kind of a drawing, but you add your content and then you've got to connect the dots and kind of arrange things yourself. So the upside of doing this in PowerPoint um, is, as you can see, you can do it pretty simply and it uh, does the organization itself. And then from there, you can do uh, customizations as needed. But this is how you make an org chart in Microsoft PowerPoint. Hope this was helpful. Uh, if you're interested in this other information, you can subscribe to the Productivity Academy channel. Just head over to YouTube. Uh, if you're not already there, pop in Productivity Academy and click subscribe.